do in the morning? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to do a response video. It's going to be like shooting a, a lovely red fish in a pleasant enough white barrel. This life thing isn't something you just do personally. You affect other people. If it was about killing yourself, you know, driving around, I'd say go ahead and kill yourself driving around, right? But it's not. Other people are in the car when you're driving, and that's what makes it tricky. That's when we have to say there has to be rules that protect those victims that you throw in the car. Anything can happen to us when we blow out. The lightning may go down the road. Terrible things can happen. So bricks may fall on your head. Yeah, well again, the, the point isn't that the risk exists. The point is, is that do you have a right to first apply the risk to somebody else, to create a human being and put them under bricks? That's the question, okay? The question isn't whether you want to get hit in the head with a brick. And kill you. Such sudden unexpected bad things happen, luckily, rarely. Every day somebody's going to starve. Every day there's going to be the blight of capitalism. We could come up with all kinds of other miseries that exist. Every day some woman will be enslaved as a sexual servant. It's not rare. Every single second of our existence Sentient beings are being brutally harmed. They are unexpected. For example, the people who went to work at the World Trade Center on the 11th of September, for them it was a normal day. This was entirely unexpected. A really bad example. I mean, a really, really bad example. You don't think it was an hysterical reaction to 9-11? We killed hundreds of thousands of people because of 9-11. We ruined hundreds of thousands, millions of lives. Ruined. We memorialize it every year. We will weep and cry and say things like, never again, because we'll kill them all. They're not going to solve the problem, are they? No. It's going to happen again, isn't it? Yes. So what is the fruit of that? Um, silly tree. You, you're saying that life is normal, everybody just goes about their business? Well, that's not what took place. Very catastrophic. Although we know about such things having happened, we don't stay at home all day long. Right, we search people's shoes and go through all kinds of efforts to prevent similar events. And that's all we're arguing for, I think in a much more rational manner is that the easiest way to prevent the problem is not to make the mess. And uh, not go out and lead a normal life. Oh. Again, normal life. Sorry, none of that happened here. People are afraid. People, Some people don't even go on airplanes because they're still afraid. They don't go into the buildings. They do a lot of things because they say it's not worth it. And so you're arguing that somehow they're irrational or wrong and you're right. Well, go ahead and argue that. But I think it's perfectly reasonable to look at the game of life and uh, say, nope. It's not good enough, <laughs> okay? It's just not.